What's cracking, YouTube family? It's your baby mama's favorite cousin, Cousin Tita. And today I have a special treat for you. Today is part one of a three part series. We are going to end 2021 off right. Hopefully, you've got your libations. I know it's the Kwanzaa season. We just left the Christmas season, entering into the New Year celebration season. So, have your libations ready because let's go. The first video that we are going to uh, present for you today has to do with the DJ Academic and Brittany Renner interview. Now, that particular interview was uh, published after uh, the reference interview uh, that I'm going to use as you know a guide for this presentation was done with myself, uh, the field master Ron Wills, and the uh, Raw podcast. And I'll leave, leave a link to that video down below. But basically, the things that were explained during the presentation of the Raw podcast interview regarding how B. Renner groomed PJ Washington should be documented as a playbook. Okay. Basically, we're breaking down the B. Renner playbook. And uh, from time to time during this presentation, I'm going to cut in and cut out uh, with the lessons and the major takeaways from how I described specifically how she groomed PJ Washington. Now, I'm using that as a guide for how the interview with DJ Academic was conducted with B. Renner. A lot of the methods, a lot of uh, the uh, elements that were present from what I described uh, as how she groomed PJ Washington came up in this interview with DJ Academic. Some of the things were word for word. I know it's crazy, but that's why you're here. That's why your cousin has your back. Uh, so definitely uh, sit down and get ready for a listen. This is just uh, part one. Part two, we are going to cover, yes, indeed, the Kevin Samuels B. Renner interview. Now, that particular back and forth went a bit differently uh, but uh, than this one that we're going to break down today. But I'm going to have fun with breaking down that uh, Kevin Samuels B. Renner uh, interview for you. Nonetheless, you saw, we saw a lot of similar elements in that one as well. But because Kevin Samuels is a Black Manosphere alum, he was able to successfully navigate uh, the different elements that she threw out. The third one will definitely be a classic gentlemen you will not want to miss part three of this series regarding how women weave worlds with their words now my technicians obviously from patreon and anyone who has a copy of the seduction scriptures know what i mean when i reference that the weaving of worlds by the words in which women use uh when engaging with certain men and over the course of these three uh, videos uh, you'll get a sense of the type of men that they know that they can get away with uh, this powerful technique that women have perfected uh, over generations and, and so in part three of this series there is a video that I'll definitely link um, published by the lead attorney and uh, there's a very important uh, passage between he and Suzette speaks that I think is critical for men who want to better understand that dynamic that women hold over certain types of men. I'm very specific when I say certain types of men because here in the manosphere and in particular the black manosphere, we are very, very uh, astute in terms of listening to what uh, words actually come out of women's mouths. But here in the select manosphere, we teach about the shadow world. And in the shadow world, it's more than just words. It is the combination of the words with her movements, her gestures, her scent, the things that she's put together for the ultimate seductive presentation in which most men cannot resist. But like I said, gentlemen, we'll get into those uh, details uh, over the course of the next three videos. For right now, let's dig into this particular topic, exposing the playbook 
of a woman of the stature of uh, Brittany Renner. And when I say stature, I mean uh, the level of experience, the level of influence, the level of uh, grooming that she naturally displays is remarkable. And here is the first example of such. Now, the first clip that I'm going to play is from uh, the uh, raw cast interview that uh, I myself did with the field master Ron Wills. And here is the first part of me describing how she got into the grooming of PJ Washington. Here we go. You know, listening to the various reviews that uh, content creators have been putting out there, I've been listening to, to hear a certain, uh, a certain element to this story. Because I know exactly what she uh, what she did in terms of grooming him from the age of eighteen to now. Mm -hmm. Okay, I know exactly what she did. She told him that his dick was the best dick that she ever had in her life. She had a special name for his dick. I guarantee she nicknamed his dick, and she had a special name for her vagina for him, and she only let her call. She only let him call her vagina by a certain name. First of all, shout out to the House of Technicians over on Patreon. We know, we know, I know. We're dropping Patreon level game here on the YouTube side, but every now and again, we have to do that. If you feel so inclined, holla at the Tito Tabernacle. The link is in the description for uh, the donations, okay? Now, let's compare what I explained as, as part of the B Renner playbook with what she used in the DJ Academic interview. Here we go. For a man to deal with you, mm -hmm. they're also dealing with and battling those perceptions as well. Well, I would say to that, first of all, big dicks, big long dicks need only apply. Second of all, um, if this isn't for you, then it's not for you. It's just that simple. Like, I'm not asking for a unicorn. I'm asking for a man to stand in who he knows he, whoever he is, and to just to be able to see the world outside of his view. All right, gentlemen, I know there's a lot going on right here, uh, but first let me just clarify this. Those who are members of the House of Technicians understand that the first thing that you must do as a man is own your manhood. That's a key component of your masculinity. Whatever your size is, whatever you were born with, that's what you need to embrace and understand and explore. That being said, when she mentions that she needs some uh, man that's big and long, note that she is, that's double speak. She's using double speak. She is referring to a man's stature. Okay, what is his social stature? She can't out earn him, so she's going to try to out fuck him or outthink him, which was the case of PJ Washington when they first started. However, you were referring to a an athlete, a superior athlete, a high-level elite athlete in his 20s. So eventually, he began to out-fuck her, okay? So she couldn't out-earn him. She could not out-fuck him. The last thing that she could do for a period of time was out-think him. And that's what's happening here. The reason why she refers to a man's uh, anatomy when talking about the type of man that can handle her speaks to uh, the call out for a man of a greater stature. She's still aiming for the fences, even though she's transitioning out of that 100 octane space. Shout out to the Master Teacher BGS and more for that. Uh, but she is uh, trying to secure a type of golden parachute. She's shooting for the fences, uh, aiming at a man of greater stature uh, than she is, uh, as is what she is used to. But make no mistake, gentlemen, she needs to either dominate a man sexually and or mentally in order to gain the type of leverage that will allow her to curate uh, a world in which he is a part of and not the opposite uh, way around, which is how it should be. She should be a part of his world, okay, uh, in an ideal circumstance. But just to drive home the double meaning uh, by which uh, she's using the word big, uh, here's something else that she said, uh, which is a great example that came out of this interview right here. I'm a 
like respectfully like i'm a big fish what are we talking about like i'm a shark in the middle of the ocean what do you think i'm gonna attract first a heavy hitters as well all right so shifting gears a little bit remember what i said if she can't out earn you she can't out fuck you she will try to out think you and here's what i had to say about that during my breakdown grown ass men get groomed all the time and gamed by <laughs> women who are younger than them all right and here is how that dynamic was set up during the dj academic interview a manipulator and why is that what supporting evidence do you have that i'm a manipulator have i ever manipulated you no you couldn't okay so okay. i must not be that great of a manipulator then no but i'm someone who's 30. oh boy so all right so here is the breakdown that i gave uh you know prior to the DJ Academic uh, B. Renner interview, in which I laid out the methodical way in which she weaves the components of this world uh, primarily by taking aspects of his behavior or his accomplishments or his uh, vocation and highlighting certain things that the average person wouldn't notice. Here you go. She whispered uh, inspirational hymns in his ear mm. when she was letting him uh, explore her. She was telling him that she had never experienced anything like him in her entire life. She was saying, complimenting that he, op he opened and held the doors open for her like a true gentleman she was mm. putting him she was pedestalizing him she yes. was saying i love the way you do this damn when you do this that is so fucking dope mm -hmm. this is so yeah she was seducing and then she would be like well what if you did this well what if you said this well what if you wrote this thing like this well let me help you with that Family, all right, all right, all right. Let, let, let's take two seconds, just settle down. Let's let's think about what's happening, okay? Let's be honest with ourselves, all right? Brittany Renner in her prime is 9.5, 10 out of 10. Let's, let's, let's just be honest, okay? So imagine this woman feigning attraction, feigning arousal, being interested in you. You've got her in your presence. She's in your space. And, and she's speaking to your accomplishments. You, she knows intimate details about uh, your anxieties, about things that you may be self-conscientious about. And she's su supporting that. And at the same time, while speaking these sweet nothings into your ear, she's grabbing your hands and she's placing them on those amazing cakes. All right, y'all will be gone, okay? Y'all will be gone. Where my checkbook at? Where my bank account? Let's, let's do this. Now, imagine having challenged her to do that as DJ Academic, stating that she can't do that because he's in his 30s. Here's what happened. Okay, so okay. I must not be that great of a manipulator then. No, but I'm someone who's 30. They don't bring that out in me because they're committed to not understanding me. Just like you're like, I still think you're a finesse and here I am. Like I genuinely support what you're doing. Like my security prince and I, when we were talking about you, like I do feel like people wrongly judge you. They pick on you because they think you're under that old law. Like that old, like you don't talk about this, you don't talk about that. And you look like them. You look like them. No, you, 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 get, no but you, you do get it. But, you do get but it. What you I'm saying it. is, is like, we're in this beautiful studio shooting this with incredible lighting. Like, I'm proud of you. Like, I don't know you. Like, you're not, you're just average blogger. Like, I mean, my God, like, you've really got it out the mud. So it's like, I feel like a lot of people pick on you because you're an easy target. Because you don't live under that old law. You don't live by a certain set of principles where it's like, yeah, I'm going to report whatever's going on and I accept how it comes. If that means not going to a festival, that means not going to a festival. But I'm going to report the real. And I respect that about you. That's why when I watched that video about you, I was like, so y'all will support people who push drugs to your community, who, who will sell your aunt 
a crack rock, but you're not gonna support someone who graduated college, who makes an honest, legitimate living and just reports on public information? That's crazy. She got me out. <laughs> I'm on her side. <laughs> I'm not here for that's what I'm saying. People yo, don't look at the truth. <laughs> yo, yo, she got I me. I support you. Yo, and I, I say was that. not I, listen, I was trying to make it through the whole thing. She got me. All right, listen, I'm Team Brittany Renner now. <sighs> shout, shout out to DJ Academic. Shout out to uh, you know, it was a great interview. Um <laughs> there's a lot of wonderful takeaways that uh were brought out in this scenario but let's be honest at the end of the day she got him okay he put up a challenge and she rose to the occasion because she understood who she was dealing with in this moment gentlemen play this video again i'm going to leave the link to the uh, full interview that i did with the uh, co raw uh, podcast um, and ron wills in the description but let's be clear at the end of the day when a woman of this caliber sees a target and she studies, clearly she studies the men that she uh, potentially is going to interact with so that she can uh, exploit any discoverable, uh, you know, perceived cracks or uh, inconsistencies or um, a sensitive area that she could probably leverage to her advantage. Now, that's just with... Uh, someone who is outside of the manosphere, or in particular the black manosphere, and DJ Academic. And shout out to him for, uh, you know, even uh, doing the, uh, the interview. Obviously, he knows what he's doing in terms of media and content creation that uh, has people talking and creating a buzz. Now, transition that to one Kevin Samuels, a black manosphere alum. Like I said, he ascended uh, through the ranks. And he conducted a video with 1B Renner. In the next installation of this series, we are going to break down the video, When Doves Cry. And trust me, you will not want to miss that one. You, you will notice a lot of similar themes that arise in this video. But the question is, what happens when a Black Metal Sphere alum meets a shark okay you will not want to miss this breakdown gentlemen stay tuned for that until then like this video share the video subscribe if you have not yet definitely consider becoming a patron where we get more in depth we get more raw with our stories and you get an insight into the shadow world as always this is your man cousin t aka the alpha wingman saying stay sharp and mission focused. Later.